Have you ever wondered, how do medicines know where they're supposed to go? Like, how does this aspirin know I have a headache? Well, to understand this, we must look into a concept called... We must look into a concept called target identification. Target identification is a process to identify specific molecular targets that are associated with a particular symptom or condition. There are two strategies. The first is target deconvolution, where you take a drug that already appears to be effective and find its targets. One of the many ways of conducting this is by testing the drug on various immobilized proteins to identify which protein it interacts with. The target deconvolution method is a rather phenotypic, which means you can literally observe the effect that the drug has on its target. The second strategy is target discovery, which is pretty much the reverse of target deconvolution. In target deconvolution, you begin with an effective drug and find its target molecules. However, in target discovery, you begin with the molecules that are known to be related to a certain condition and find compounds that target it. One of the methods used to test and identify target is by using technology to rapidly test tens of thousands of compounds to identify those that show the properties of a desired drug. After finding the drug and its targets, scientists need to understand how they interact with each other and produce an effect on the body. This is known as a drug's mechanism of action. Here's a quick example. In the 1800s, evidence was found that the ancient Egyptians have been using the willow bark as a pain reliever in favor remedy ever since the 1500 BC. Many scientists refined the bark to form cells and crystals which was tested on patients and found to be effective against rheumatic fever while also causing gastritis as a side effect. The crystals were further developed into salicylic acid, forming a salicylate that does not irritate the body. Finally, a scientist acetylated the acid to form acetyl salicylic acid, which is also known as aspirin. It was proven that the acid targets an enzyme called cyclooxygenase, which produces hormones called prostaglandins. It is this hormone that causes inflammation, pain, and fever. And all of that is aspirin's MOA. Well, there you have it. Target identification and mechanism of action, they are pretty small pieces of a giant puzzle of drug production, a process that usually takes years to complete. However, it is through this small piece that our medicines know how to help us.